Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 19th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, world weather, volcanoes. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours on our sun. Big plasma prominences dancing across the surface and erecting from the surface amazing images and events on our sun over the past few days. As it, it went quiet, we had about four Earth-facing sunspots compared to the almost dozen that we've seen over this last little while. Right now, we're observing the outgoing plasma filament. That thing is massive, towering from the surface of the sun, connected to another plasma rope. I'm going to break all of this down for you here. Showing the last 48 hours, big plasma filament there, and then sunspot region outgoing started firing away. Cresting into view, sunspot region started doing the same thing right around the same time big plasma shots as you can see here and then more plasma filaments northwest region and that tall filament prominence in the bottom still standing and then these two filaments there and polar filaments there's just so much going on in our sun amazing images right now through solar cycle 25 solar maximum which is going to last upwards of 11 years. All these images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, showing here three M-class solar flares over the past 48 hours. We also have an intense Earth-facing coronal hole. And just look at all around the surface of our sun, north, south, east, west, there is action everywhere. Multi-spectrum, you can see there, Big, elongated, stretched out coronal hole, earth facing, right above that huge plasma filament that is stretched across the surface. So a cooled region, which is the coronal hole, and then the plasma filament, which is just pure plasma riding the solar winds or the jet stream that's on our sun. The magnetic field of all of these sunspots which there are six right now, 3,900, big one coming into view, kind of matching up with the one in the equatorial region here. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. If you're enjoying all these images and information shared, please give a thumbs up. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1, minor radio blackout impacts expected, minor degradation to high frequency radio. Solar winds are coming in at 388 kilometers per second right now, expecting that to increase over this next little while with the Earth-facing coronal hole. Solar X-ray flux showing there a bit of an excitable few hours yesterday. Multiple M-class solar flares, strong C-class solar flares today. Proton flux is low, geomagnetic activity up to a KP3 throughout the day today. Most likely impacts from the coronal hole wind stream. Space Weather Prediction Center showing the space weather spiral here. Not expecting too much over the next little while. 20th into the 21st is when we'll see our next geomagnetic instability, as you can see in the bottom there. And then Space Weather is ISWA Space Prediction Spiral here showing outgoing CME and then a CME taking off towards Mercury. There's been a lot of activity on the backside of the sun, and I'm sure there are multiple sunspots that are going to be coming around for the Earth-facing party next week. Tonight and tomorrow's Aurora forecast view line likelihood is very low tonight and tomorrow. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours, as that is low as well. We've had a quiet week for earthquakes, and that's a little bit concerning in my eyes. Largest being a 5.6 here the last 24 hours. USGS is reporting only 195 earthquakes the last 24 hours. 4.3 there, Papua New Guinea, 
121 kilometer depth. But all through this region, this is a little bit peculiar, all around the Philippines, this 5.0 there, and then 4.0, 4.5s, 4.6s, all around the Philippines plate, up into Japan here with a pretty deep 248 kilometer depth earthquake there. Marianas Trench, 5.0, Philippines. We just had Typhoon Pepito rake over the northern Philippines. Thoughts and prayers to everybody affected there. 4.7s here ringing out. Tibetan Plateau and Myanmar. South American Plate. Southern Chile with a 4.0 and Peru with a 4.6. Continuous seismicity at the Caribbean Plate. Puerto Rico. Pretty deep earthquake here. Guatemala, 176 kilometer depth. Heads up through this region, this Cocos Plate and down into the Rivera. Interesting earthquakes, Pleasanton, Texas. Mind you, it's a fracking region. No major earthquake swarms to report. Last 24 hours has been pretty quiet. Now let's have a look at world weather showing satellite imagery of this massive system that is about to hit BC coast and as well Washington coastline. Oregon as well, lots of moisture. The bomb cyclone is here. This is the most recent satellite imagery brought to you by Zoom Earth. And this is a hurricane, folks. They're expecting 120 kilometer per hour winds from this massive low pressure system. And looking at satellite imagery, it looks like a hurricane. Folks, this is a bomb cyclone. This is pretty much a Pacific hurricane or a Pacific typhoon hitting the BC coastline tonight. Now, most likely this is going to hit the coastline and then rake northward and then head back out into the Pacific as there's another low pressure system tucking in behind. So peculiar forecast for the long range here. Heads up, everybody along the West Coast there and as well through Alaska seeing some very strong polar winds start to take over all through the Aleutian Islands and Alaska. Cold temperatures are funneling down as the polar vortex has set up. If you haven't seen that most recent video, I did show our polar vortex, the upper level winds, which depicts our polar vortex. And it is a lot further north to Siberia than it should be. And I think that has a lot to do with these most recent extreme weather events and strange things happening across the planet. We've got Tropical Storm Sarah there, post-tropical storm heading through the Gulf still. Mixed with the Texas low. Some strong storm cells that are going to be heading through the New Orleans coast and into Florida. The next 24 hours and snow is falling all across the Canadian prairies. 15 centimeters of snow in Calgary. 30 centimeters of snow in parts of Manitoba. Now let's have a look at the wave totals here as this bomb cyclone, as you can see in the forecast here, kind of heads back out into the Pacific. But tonight and into tomorrow is when it, when it roars up right here and where you're going to see a nine meter storm surge all across northern Vancouver Island, Washington State and parts of northern Oregon upwards of five to nine meters. Look at the barometric pressure here. They're showing here 948 millibars at the center of this low pressure system. That's a hurricane, folks. That's a hurricane. Now, what if all of a sudden one of these hurricanes or typhoons from the Pacific makes it into land through the winter time and creates one of the most devastating blizzards North America has ever seen. And it's happened in our history. It happened back in the 1940s. And I'm sure it's happened many times before that. But we're going to see some great changes here over the next little while. Look at this roller coaster of highs and lows mixing north and into the equator. Now, very important engine to world weather is our North Atlantic 
ocean current right here. I wanted to show you the most recent currents through the North Atlantic. I have shown these images before and things are getting strange. You can see all these cold waters starting to funnel down already through the Atlantic provinces as far south as Carolina State, North Carolina. If this thing drifts further east and south, breaks down, our weather systems will change forever. But this is all connected to our magnetic field, our sun's magnetic field, all connected to our solar system, all connected to us. These big changes are unfolding before our eyes. And look at the North Pacific as we've got some really cold ocean temperatures starting to fuel across the North Pacific right now. As they're already seeing some pretty extreme cold temperatures across all of Russia. Look at the equator here. Man, things are ramping up. These are our ocean currents. I've never seen anything like this in the Northwest Pacific. There are some severe mixings going on right now. Much love, everybody, and we're going through this together. Been documenting these changes now for seven years. 82,000 people around the world want to stay aware and prepared and are seeing what I'm seeing. And I'm wondering what I'm wondering. I encourage everybody to do their own research. Hurricane season isn't over yet. Typhoon season is far from over. We're about to see some great changes on this planet. We've got some extremely warm equatorial Pacific moisture as well, 32 degrees Celsius. Climate change is real, but it's a solar cycle. Climate cycle, not climate change. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily too. We'll see you next video.